Welcome to our Sunday service. Today's service is non-traditional and non-denominational. All religions are welcome to attend our service as metaphysics is a perfect size for all religions. Metaphysics is the language spoken here. To ask that bold, brave question. Does your belief system, your faith, allow your hopes and dreams to come true? Does it allow your prayers to be answered? Are you living the life you dare to dream can be yours? The power of choice is ours in this 3D realm, and it's governed by our belief system, our faith. This is the importance to declare your faith so that when we are perfected, does our faith allow our hopes and dreams to be resurrected? Begin to think in new ways. Allow yourself to receive new thoughts, new solutions to alleviate life's hurdles and hardships. Repeat after me. I allow new thoughts and new solutions. I utilize my power of choice wisely. Our belief system will allow new thoughts or not. Even when our thoughts literally shift the universe on a particle by particle basis to create our physical life. The individualized expression that powerizes our life. It is energy and energy knows its source, returns to its source, that which is thought, spoken words, emotions, all powerize the investment of a single chosen thought. Could we expect good things? We are mentally ready to accept that good is a natural state of our life's experiences. We then experience that our lives are divinely guided. The best advice to everyone, keep peace with yourself. You will be there wherever you go, work, play, pleasure, to become good company for yourself. So enjoy your own company. Repeat after me, I keep peace with myself. Welcome to our Sunday service. Today is April 7th, 2024, and thank you for joining us to declare our faith is made perfect. Repeat after me, I declare my faith is made perfect. Each day we give up to God of all creation, everything to work through us for us in prayer, meditation, and contemplation that this holy metaphysical church recommends twice daily, 12 to 14 minutes each time. We allow our brain to connect to the one mind of God that brings to our conscious awareness new thoughts. Twice a day, we get open into our natural state of being, that is, good health, wealth, and abundance, with unimaginably good results. When we clear the clutter of emotional baggage, reusing old energy, recycling, we make room for solutions that we may not have thought about before because we didn't make room for it. We had, we were full house. We had no room for anything else. Repeat after me. I clear the clutter. I receive new solutions. Let us invite the Holy Trinity, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit to join the one mind of God that is to continue to perfect the faith of all who join this met holy metaphysical church today to provoke us unto good works, utilizing the power of heaven and earth, giving the sacrifice of praise in adoration of the unconditional love of God. We acknowledge that it is Jesus the Christ who makes it possible for me to release all negativity from the week just past and throughout my life. Today we proffer the sacrifice of thanksgiving, and that is because Jesus the Christ did pay the price. As we pray the Father, Abba, we pray in Jesus' name. We pray the Father in Jesus' name, so that we have no need for further sacrifice when we do acknowledge Jesus paid the price. Repeat after me, for this I give thanks. I allow it be so, and so it is. This church, the Dr. Sherwood Helen Ministry, has a mission of blessing. So if you're here viewing today, listening, 
it's not a coincidence that you're in the audience. Meditation and spiritual advice today is, un is non-medical, non-clinical, and non-secular in nature and intent. And Holy Bible passages, scriptural readings, are from the King James Version. If you want to read along with us, note that any therapeutic benefit or healing of any kind, as you listen today, is a result of bringing forth the latent Holy Spirit-given potentials within yourself that you have allowed to work for your highest and best good. Repeat after me, I allow it be so for my highest and best good. The Holy Bible records Spirit-given potential given to the prophet Jeremiah as recorded in Jeremiah chapter 1, Verses 4 through 10 of the King James Version. I begin with verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say not, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And he and the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put words in thy mouth. See, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down and to destroy and to throw down to build and to plant. Repeat after me, I receive the promises of the Lord. I receive my spirit-given potentials to deliver me. It is amazing that we are, when we are obedient to spiritual laws, metaphysical principles, that is the immutable law of the spiritual law of one, one God, one mind, all of a sudden we understand from a higher perspective from the perspective that we are a co-creator with the God of all creation. We powerize ourselves in prayer, meditation, and contemplation. When our ego mind says, no way, we know to ask Father God, Abba, in Jesus' mighty name, to create a way when there seems to be no way to live life in a different manner but don't despair, don't give up. When you get what you prayed for, or something better, you will laugh and laugh when other people don't understand how is this all possible. And may remark, no way. If you should resurrect your hopes and dreams with a resurrection power that raised Jesus from the dead, we know that the origin of our hopes and dreams is spiritual. In other words, requires a spiritual path to progress our hopes and dreams. Repeat after me, I resurrect my hopes and dreams on my spiritual path that is the high road of the life I dare to dream is mine. I'm Reverend Dr. Sherwood Howland, the licensed ordained minister who officiates all functions of this chartered online church with a physical venue here in the center. If you have correspondence to send to us, please address it to Dr. Sherwood Helen Ministry, Post Office Box 1696, Aniston, A-N-N-I-S-T-O-N, Alabama, USA, 36202. Now please accept this invitation to join our Holy Metaphysical Church to pray all together the Lord's Prayer that is recorded by Jesus' disciple Matthew in St. Matthew chapter 6, verses 9 through 13. Let us pray all together. 
Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and forever. And we all said, Amen. Each Sunday we pray this powerful prayer, because it is known as a curse breaker by the ecumenical community that is the most holy body of Christ. Repeat after me, I receive the Lord's Prayer. I receive the kingdom of God and the power and the glory forever is mine. Amen. And so we always like to consider that for our highest and best good, each Sunday we are provided food for thought, choices in how we will use our energy because our energy is interchangeable with the primordial light energy of original creation. That is the first cause of creation. Repeat after me, I value exchange, the energy of what was to what currently serves my highest and best good. For this realization today and every day, I give thanks, I let it be so, and so it is. Each Sunday we also accept a prayer treatment for ourselves. Divine Father, Mother God, Divine Holy Spirit of Jesus the Christ, today I recommit my life. I want to live in a different way. I know that in prayer, meditation, and contemplation, I can make that choice to live life in a different way, to return to my natural state of being, to coexist in a healthier, happier way. Today I make that choice, the wiser choice, to open to my natural state of God consciousness, that one mind of God that dwells inside of me, to the deeper levels of my mind, I travel to restore my immortal soul that powerizes my new and positive thought patterns, that works the wisdom of God, that regenerates every cell of my body, returning it to its natural optimum level of functioning its natural state. Of good health. I declare today that I am whole. I declare that I am healed. I feel the flow of positive vibrations that I can center from a higher level of mind, the one mind of God, the initial force bent, knowing but without words, sensing that healing has taken place in the comfort that I presently feel opened into this natural state of healing frequencies, provides a charge of positive vibrations, promoting a healthy change within my body. As my body is healing, responding to the higher force, balancing my thoughts, my body, my spirit, I breathe in the good and exhale all that no longer serves me. Repeat after me, for this I give thanks. I allow it be so, and so it is. And now let us receive the benediction. It is found in Numbers chapter 6, verses 24 through 26. Many of us have prayers on the altar. Prayers that we've been praying about maybe for a long time. And now let us pray, Abba, or Father God, in Jesus' name, as we receive the benediction. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. Repeat after me, I receive the benediction. I give thanks that good, positive, satisfying results quickly appear. Each Sunday we have our closing prayer affirmatives as we practice the presence of God within us. And we know that light within us is responsible for all the good things that happen. Because absent the light within us, there is a physical body and we have a home going because the life is no longer in the body. So we affirm, we practice the presence of God is in us. 
We affirm wherever I may be, it is God who is truly present. Whatever I may be doing, it is God who is truly doing. Whatever power I may possess, it is God who is the power. Whatever I may give, it is God who is truly giving. Whatever forgiveness may be needed, it is God who forgives. Whatever peace I may know, it is God who is keeping me eternally silent. Whatever love I may have, it is God who is truly loving, that unconditional love. Whatever success I may have, I acknowledge it is God within me, that one mind of God that has truly succeeded. Now continue to our closing prayer. Divine Father, Mother God, Divine Holy Presence of Jesus the Christ, who visit our Holy Metaphysical Church today, we acknowledge the one mind of the Holy Trinity, who perfects our faith, our reason for existence. Forever we praise you. Forever we honor you. Forever we adore you. Grant that by the inspiration of your most Holy Spirit Comforter, that we are empowered this week with words that you provide to bless ourselves and others, that we are proactive to worship, to serve all, to be the good steward of your power and your purpose. Not my will, but thine be done. May we forever draw closer, nearer to you, enter into that eternal triangle, enter into the rest of my soul's prosperity, my soul's repose. I am forever grateful. I am forever thankful. Repeat after me. Glory be to the Father. Glory be to the Son. Glory be to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and forever shall be, a world without end. Amen. And now I say to you, blessings to you and yours. Blessings without limit. Until we meet again. Blessings.